Hi, Cute Critters X here, and today I'm going to do a quick video on what I currently have in my pet binder. This is the what I've put together since I had um, hamsters and also guinea pigs. I didn't have it when I had my first hamster, but I've had it for the last year or so. It's just in this normal pink um, ring binder, which I'm looking to change sort of the colour because I don't like it and put like a label here or seeing some pictures of pets because I have some photographs printed. And then the first, um, it's all a bit mismatched at the minute because it's not really organised and I'm hoping to put sections in the section like Aussie hamsters, guinea pigs and stuff off. The first one is obviously um, how to give your hamster a health check and it just goes through behaviour, movement and the actual health check and it's just a couple of pages of that. Then there's poisonous plants list and I'm pretty sure it possibly could be for guinea pigs or hamsters but I think it's for guinea pigs but I'm not sure it doesn't say. And it just goes through all Again, it's seven pages of that, so I should all of them. Then I have a cavity treatment record, and this just goes through name, colour, obviously notes of the condition and the treatment they have, and you can just write it down when your guinea pig has gone to the vet, etc. Then I got this off um, Jackie's guineapiggies.com and this is guinea pig cages and talks about CNC cages and materials um, keeping your guinea pig happy cottontails rescue is just stuff I printed off then here I have again this is a table um, several pages long and it just goes through the veggies and fruits and um, plants and stuff that are safe and how much calcium etc and vitamin C and sort of sugar they've got in them and also the comments saying like how much you give per how much you can give and it's colour coded so it's every day once um, once a week, couple times a week, once a month etc and I'm not sure where I got this from I will try and find the link if possible. If not, you can just search guinea pig dart and you'll get a couple of these from Google. Then this is from the same website as the cage one and it's just cage cleaning, bat spot cleaning, etc. Obviously I know about all this, but this I got this when I first got my first guinea pig. Then there is um, information on safe and unsafe food and plants for hamsters. And basically unsafe treats, um, safe treats, popular safe treats and plants and vegetables that are safe and not safe. Then we have Joey's fact file, which are these changing. Because obviously his diet's changed and his vet has changed, which I mean, you can see it now anyway. Then I have the first aid kit list for guinea pigs. And it is po possibly the same for most animals anyway. We should have like syringes, tweezers, and basic stuff you should have and use for medications. Then there's another one on vegetables and fruit, and just goes through a list of fruit and veg, up seeing what's safe. Again, another one on fruit and veg for guinea pigs. Just goes, lists all the different things and information like say high in vitamin C or don't use pips or stones or whatever. Then I just have a couple of leaflets from pets at home. Care of your dwarf hamster. I've had these I've had one dwarf hamster in the past. Care of your Syrian hamster. Then I just have some leaflets that don't actually have space. 
to fit in there, so I just have like a voucher, it's just odd bits and pieces, I have lists of companies that give out samples, and I have the XL Guide to Rabbits, Guinea Pigs and Chinchillas, I would advise getting these leaflets because they're really good and informative, then you've got the Guide to the Fibre Wars, I can't talk today. And just talks about hay and food, etc. Then you have Supreme's Guide to Small Furries, and literally has about every single small animal that is, what they could eat, their lifespan, how much, just like a fact file of all of it basically. Then the Burgess Guide to Serial Hamsters Care Guide, then I got obviously. Um, Joey's receipt thing when I bought him. That's it for my bind. As I say, I'm trying to improve it because it doesn't have a lot in, especially on hamsters. Because I basically made this when I got my first guinea pig and I've not really improved it. So in the next couple of months, I will have an updated pet binder, hopefully. See you in the next video. Bye.